Space Master X-7 is a 1958 American black and white science fiction film in widescreen regalscope from Regal Pictures, produced by Bernard Glasser, directed by Edward Burns, that stars Bill Williams, Lynn Thomas, and Robert Ellis. Paul Fries, Judd Holderin, and Mo Howard have supporting roles. The screenplay was written by George Worthing Yates and Daniel Mainwaring. 20th Century Fox distributed the film. Space Master X-7 was theatrically released in July, 1958 as a double feature with the Vincent Price classic The Fly. Topic. Plot A space probe returns to Earth covered with a mysterious fungus, which, when accidentally mixed with human blood, transforms into an ever-growing pile of space rust. If not stopped, the infection could eventually cover the entire world. Topic. Cast Bill Williams as John Hand Lynn Thomas as Laura Greeling Robert Ellis as Private Joe Rattigan Paul Fries as Dr. Charles T. Palmer Rhoda Williams as Stewardess Archer Joan Barry as Jean Myers, a brunette Carol Varga as Elaine Froman Thomas Brown Henry as Professor West Thomas Wilde as Collins Fred Sherman as Mr. Morse, hotel manager. Greg Martell as Jim Dale, plane engineer. Jess Kirkpatrick as pilot Vaccarino. Court Shepard as battalion fire chief Hendry. Mo Howard as Rettlinger, the cab driver. Al Bafford as plane passenger. Topic. Production. After making several westerns for Regal Pictures, director Ed Burns and producer Bernard Glasser thought they would make a science fiction picture. Burns says the script was written on spec by Daniel Mainwaring and George Worthing Yates. Bernard Glasser bought it and director Burns rewrote the script without credit because the original was written for a feature film with a larger budget and a longer running time. Burns said the film's total budget was $90,000. Glasser, however, recalled that Space Master X-7 was budgeted at $125,000, with $25,000 going to the screenwriters. The film was rushed into production to take advantage of the Explorer I satellite space launch. Regal's head of publicity, Marty Weiser, recommended they change the title from Missile into Space to the more exciting-sounding Space Master X-7. Harry Spaulding, who was Robert L. Lippert's story editor, recalls the filmmakers went over budget but did a good job, so good they were hired for The Return of the Fly 1959. Mo Howard, who made a cameo appearance in the film in a notable departure from his slapstick performances, had worked previously with Burns on his Three Stooges shorts and asked if the production crew had a position for his son-in-law Norman Maurer. Maurer would work as the film's production assistant received $1,000 for his efforts. In fact, Glasser was so impressed with Maurer's work that he recommended him to producer Sidney Pink for Pink's upcoming science fiction film, The Angry Red Planet 1959. Topic. Video game trivia A Space Master X-7 video game was announced in 1983 for the Atari 2600 by Fox's video game publishing arm, it was not based on the original feature film. In fact, programmer David Lubar had not even heard of the 1958 film before Fox decided to attach its title to an original game he had developed. The game's Atari 800 port, published by Sirius Software that same year, was eventually released as Alpha Shield, dropping the film connection entirely. <laughs> 